Good end of it. Thank you for the pleasure of your company. Bad news if you're just waking up. It was a, a pretty good game. New Zealand batted first 134 for eight. Not quite enough against Pakistan, it felt at the time. And that was, in fact, the case. Pakistan getting there after 18.4 overs, 135 for five. They were five down for about 90-odd, and it felt like the Black Caps could do it. Let's bring in Guy Havelt, also known as Guy Havelt. I just wanted to make you posh, <laughs> posh in French. <laughs> How are you, Guy Havelt? Yeah, good bugger. Lovely I appreciate to see the, you. Uh, I appreciate the European uh, twist <laughs> on my name there, John. I'm, I'm well. Yeah, it was a cracking game of cricket. It was a uh, cracking everyone, game of really. cricket. Yeah, it really did. It looked like Pakistan was going to cruise um, early on, and it really didn't feel like the Black Caps had enough. But uh, in that middle stage, as you mentioned, they, they took quick wickets, and all of a sudden the Black Caps became favourites. Uh, but uh, mm. in the death overs, they, they fell apart a little bit, and that's that, that'll be pretty disappointing. I mean, in the end, it looks pretty comfortable for Pakistan. It wasn't as comfortable as it reads, but it was still uh, the Black Caps still have a bit of work to do if they're to make those semi-finals. Yeah, a lot of work it, now. Yeah, actually. well, yeah, they got to beat India, right? I mean, that's the that's the statement of fact, isn't it? They have to beat India to go through. Pretty much. If they don't beat India, they need India then to go and lose to either Namibia, Afghanistan or Scotland, which sitting right here, you'd have to say, is probably not going to happen. So, yeah, they put themselves in a pretty tough position, although India have to win as well. Um, yeah, so it's, yeah, it's going to yeah, come yeah, down to yeah. those two teams. Uh, Pakistan all but through now to the semi-finals and, and looking very, very good to win this tournament as well. You have to stay. I just want to say that uh, this is a fantastic Pakistan team. They beat England by 10 wickets. Uh, I thought their opening bowling attack, uh, you, you know, their bowlers at the top, uh, uh, they really kept the lid on our run rate, right? And, and in fact, the Black Caps, three of us, Daniel, uh, Daryl Mitchell, Kane Williamson and Devin Conway got into the late 20s, but no one was able to kick on and no one was really able to get their strike rate up. You bang on in all of that. The Pakistan bowlers were superb. And then two of those guys that you mentioned in, in Daryl Mitchell, Kane Williamson, and then if you add in Jimmy Neesham as well, all just threw their wickets away in such quick succession. Mitchell had hit a six, and then the very next ball tried to hit another one, got caught on the boundary. Williamson ran himself out, and then Neesham came in, got off the mark off his first ball, and then second ball tried to hit it out of the ground and got caught on the boundary. And that was pretty much where the game mm. turned in Pakistan's favour, and they threw those wickets away. But, you know, you... you while the Black Caps were disappointing in some areas, it was all down to Pakistan yeah, and how good they were. They they were so, so good today and just as good as they were against India. And as I say, uh, my word, they're going to be hard to stop in this entire tournament. Yeah, I mean, sometimes in the sport, you just got to accept the best team wins. And, 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 and today they did. <laughs> hey, Guy, I wasn't able to listen to the commentary because obviously we were in here prepping for this morning and then we were on air. But can you tell me about the track? What was it doing? What was it like to bat on? Well, it was a little bit, it looked strange. It had this kind of grey sheen on it. And it was quite bright and it was, you know, it was kind of reflecting off it. It was a little bit slow at times, I, I thought, and maybe a little bit of different pace, but um, it wasn't maybe as bad as I was anticipating it was going to be. It looked okay to bat on. Uh, and so I think that 134 that the Black Caps put up was probably never going to be enough. As I say, they got themselves back into it, but really 134 on paper, uh, Pakistan could kind of cruise their way through the first 10 overs and then just even though they lost a few wickets still managed to get home relatively comfortably so yeah it, it played it played uh, probably a little bit well quite different to what you get here in New Zealand but by no means overly difficult for our batters uh, they should have done a lot better than they did that's a fact. Guy, Guy Havelt we so appreciate you joining us uh, being up to be on the telly we always love you coming in Guy thank you <laughs> welcome on breakfast any time. Thank, th thank well, you. Well, I'd love to be on any time. Just, just make sure you play that Devin Conway catch. Yeah, yeah. A few we were just watching it. Morning, you, John, you were that was unbelievable. I, I hadn't seen it because we were on air when it happened. But holy moly! Yeah. I think we may have him, guy. <laughs> I think. Hold on a sec. Do we have Devin Conway? Do we? Devin Conway, we're going to bring you in. Are you? Are you? Good God, you're a good bugger joining us. Thank you so much. Uh, you'll be feeling a bit <laughs> flat, Devin, because uh, it, it was close. <laughs> And, and, and we didn't quite set enough, right? But I want to talk about that catch. Wow, we were just looking at that on air. Uh, good morning to you, John. Um, yeah, that no, was a little bit disappointing um, tonight, you know, falling a little bit short. But um, yeah, it was, a, it was a good catch, I suppose, and pretty happy that I sort of contributed. But um, yeah, we just got to bounce back to the next game, unfortunately. We're just looking at this catch now, Devin. You can't see it, obviously, because uh, we're in New Zealand and you're not. But that you don't see many catches on the boundary better than that one. That was extraordinary. Tell me about the track. I think you got 27, didn't you, Devin? And, and, and you looked set. But, boy, the Pakistan attack was good. They were really keeping a lid on, uh, on the run rate. What was it like to bat out there? 
Yeah, I think um, the track was um, certainly different to what we've been used to in, in New Zealand. Um, you know, it had like sort of like a, a shiny sheet to it um, and didn't really bounce nearly as much as what we used to. Um, so it took, you know, say probably a couple of hours just to adjust to that. But um, yeah, credit to the Pakistan brothers. They really did execute their plans well tonight and they made it really hard for us to, to score. So um, yeah, we were pro probably a couple short, unfortunately, but um, we put on a good fight and um, yeah, we, we try to take it to, to the end as much as possible. So um, we'll have to just bounce back. Yeah, you did put on a good fight. And you, when you say a couple short, you're right, actually 10 or 15 more. Uh, 150, say, rather than uh, 135, and it would for as a target, and it would have been a completely different game. Let, let, let's talk, Devon, about uh, you have to beat India now, basically, don't you, uh, to go through, and India will be hurting because they were just annihilated by Pakistan. So that becomes a very big game, doesn't it? Yeah, massive game for us. Um, I think on Sunday it is. Um, mm. Yeah, we'll be we'll be playing on a, a different surface for sure in in Dubai. Um, that one is going to be a little bit more bouncier and a little bit more true as compared to the one year in Sharjah. But um, yeah, a must win game, like you say. So we'll just have to just continue building on where we've left off tonight and um, yeah, just win that game on Sunday. It's pretty much as simple as that. Well, we really wish you well. And, and Devin, I can't thank you enough for joining us so quickly after the game was over. I know you'll be disappointed, but I know our best is yet to come. A great catch, a lovely little innings of 27. Devin Conway, thank you so much for joining us. And we really wish you and the team well for that big game against India. Thanks, Devin. Thanks a lot, John. Cheers, thank you.